What led King Charles to turn to Harry Styles to perform at his big day? And why did the global pop star refuse? Here are the A-listers who won't be at the royal coronation. It's no secret that Elton John is a royal family favourite. We don't want the crap ones. No. <laughs> Those are number one records. Thank you. He delivered a moving performance at Princess Diana's funeral, performed at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding, and made an appearance at Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee in 2012, to name just a few. But it appears King Charles III's coronation concert will be the exception. An inside source told The Sun that John was one of the King's top choices, and John's team revealed to Rolling Stone that, yes, he was asked to perform at the ceremony, but his schedule simply didn't line up. Take a look at John's actual tour dates, however, and you'll notice that there are no shows scheduled for May 6th or 7th. He does have a show in Hamburg, Germany, on May 5th, and another show in Berlin on May 8th, but that's nothing hopping on a private airplane can't fix. One can't help but wonder if, given his close friendship with the late Princess Diana, he's more than happy to skip Charles's big day. After all, it seems that he was more than happy to attend William's wedding to Kate Middleton. I hope they have the most wonderful day and, and I hope everyone celebrates for them whether they just agree with the monarchy or not. It's no secret that the world adores former One Direction boy band member Harry Styles. But we'll admit we're surprised that King Charles III is apparently a fan. Or perhaps he's simply trying to attract a bigger crowd at the coronation ceremony, which Styles' presence most certainly will do. Unfortunately for the King, Styles has other plans on May 7th, and so does his band. An inside source told The Sun that Styles' ongoing tour was one of the reasons he declined. They also mentioned that he couldn't get, quote, key band members together as they'll be on much needed downtime. I want to be good. I, it, it, like, if it's not going to be good, I'd rather not do it. A quick look at Styles' tour schedule reveals that he will be playing a show in Denmark on May 13th, but no shows are scheduled before that date. The last show he played before the upcoming Denmark slot was, according to his social media account, in Tokyo on March 29th. The show in Denmark scheduled for May 13th means that Styles is likely to be in Europe around the time of the coronation. Artists sure need their downtime while touring, but it seems that Styles and his band could have made it to the ceremony if they really wanted to. Spice Girls and other big British musical acts are reportedly saying no to performing at the upcoming coronation of King Charles III on May 6th. The Spice Girls are basically British legends and have performed at a number of royal events in the past. That made it all the more shocking when they too declined the invite to perform at King Charles III's coronation concert. Their reason for declining the invite? Their calendars are simply overflowing and they can't squeeze in any rehearsal time, an inside source told The Sun. What exactly the group is up to is unclear since they aren't currently on tour. In another unexpected turn of events, Kylie Minogue declined the invitation to perform at the Coronation Concert as well. As it turns out, Minogue's home country, Australia, is looking to become a republic following Queen Elizabeth II's death. According to the Daily Mail, a source close to Minogue revealed that she was told her performance at the coronation event might not sit well with her country. The source claimed, Kylie has been an honorary Brit for many, many years and admires the royal family and everything that they do. But she is also a passionate Australian and has read the room in a country that could very soon become a republic. Minogue has brushed shoulders with the royal family before, most notably when she performed at Queen Elizabeth II's 92nd birthday celebration in 2018. Minogue was fond of the Queen and took to Twitter after the monarch's death to write a touching tribute. The occasions I had the honour of being in the presence of Queen Elizabeth II, her energy, compassion and aura had a most singular brilliance. I was, and am, in awe. My deepest condolences to family and friends. Rest in peace. In another devastating blow to King Charles, the Daily Mail confirmed that Adele won't be performing at the coronation concert either. The singer said she was busy, but didn't elaborate. 
It's hard to believe that Adele has any beef with the royals, however. In 2013, she accepted an MBE from Queen Elizabeth II, and it was presented to her by none other than King Charles III. There didn't seem to be any ongoing drama between them at the time, but a lot of time has passed since, and many are wondering if the royal family's strained relationship with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has anything to do with it. Why? This Vogue interview might clear things up. Prince William or Prince Harry? Prince Harry. Might she be just a little salty about how the palace treated the prince and his wife? Who knows? With stars like Elton John, Harry Styles and Adele saying no thank you to performing at the Coronation concert, having superstar Ed Sheeran also declining the invite must have been a massive blow. At least there's not a glaring gap in Sheeran's tour schedule on Coronation Day. The man really will be taking to the stage in Arlington, Texas on May 6th. And while he might be able to do the impossible in the music charts, even he can't be in two places at once. Some insiders, however, told the Daily Mail that Sheeran could hop on a private plane and make it in time for the Coronation concert on May 7th. His next show is scheduled for May 13th, so it can be done. Sheeran has a few royal performances under his belt. In 2012, he joined an impressive lineup for Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee, and 2014's Royal Variety performance saw him take to the stage once again. In 2022, he was also part of the Platinum Jubilee lineup. A source told the Daily Mail that Charles was very keen for Sheeran to be a part of the Coronation concert. But a representative for Sheeran told Metro in February that the palace had not contacted Sheeran's team to arrange any sort of performance for the coronation concert. So did he decline? Or did the palace not contact him after seeing his tour schedule? Worst case, they'll invite Prince Harry and tell everyone it's Ed Sheeran. While Robbie Williams' former band Take That will be taking to the stage for the coronation celebrations, he most likely won't be joining them, despite valiant efforts from organizers to convince him otherwise. An inside source revealed to the Daily Mail that the band's lead singer, Gary Barlow, was eager to perform at the coronation concert, and that he went out of his way to ensure the band could fit it into their schedule. The source claimed, they were asked some weeks back and jumped at the chance. They feel very honored, but there was little notice, so it has been a challenge. This makes us wonder if the lack of big stars performing at the Coronation concert could, in part, be due to bad organization. Regardless, the BBC has confirmed that Katy Perry and Lionel Richie will headline the Coronation concert alongside Take That. As for what happened behind the scenes with these other A-listers, we'll probably never know. It's going to be weird during the coronation when you hear, ladies and gentlemen, Smash Mouth featuring Corey Feldman. 